What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Quick video. So it looks like the legend himself, heavyweight Iron Mike Tyson, is going to have a movie made about his life, like a biopic. Now, it's going to be directed by a powerhouse in movie making, Martin Scorsese, who hasn't done a boxing flick since Raging Bull, which is a classic, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci. And actually, here's a little tidbit about Raging Bull. There's a scene in there, Joe Pesci because Robert De Niro is such a method actor, he actually allowed Joe Pesci to really hit him to get into the character of Jake LaMotta. So that's just a little, you know I'm a movie buff, so I know little factoids and tidbits. Now, the only thing that just stands out to me is who they are picking to play Mike Tyson. Like, I just can't get past it. And it's Jamie Foxx. They're saying Jamie Foxx is going to play Mike Tyson. Now, I've heard Jamie Foxx, like, even way back in the day on In Living Color, do a Mike Tyson impression, and it's good. I have no problem with the, I think he can do the voice. He's a talented actor. Uh, he pulled off Ray. I didn't really see him as Ray Charles either, but he got an Oscar for it. So he can act. He's versatile. He does the music. He does the stand-up. But I'm just thinking about, like, physique and frame-wise and actual facial features and, and stuff like that. And I know as Hollywood, they can. there's movie magic and, and stuff like that. But Tyson was a big boy. Like, Jamie Foxx, he's not that tall. I think he's probably 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, Tyson was probably 5'10 and a half, 5'11". And very stocky. Very big, like 200 plus pounds. So, I, I don't know, man. I, I just can't picture that. And again, there's been a lot of roles that when I first read like even Heath Ledger when they said he was going to be the Joker I'm like Heath Ledger I can't really picture that especially knowing how good of a job Jack Nicholson did back in the day in the Tim Burton Batman so I was like Heath Ledger's the Joker and then he nailed it and he killed it and he like murdered the Joker role and rest in peace to Heath Ledger lost his life um after filming so it's possible like I said Ray Charles I couldn't really picture Jamie Foxx a lot of people said, oh, Fresh Prince is going to be Muhammad Ali. No way. Fuck that. I can't picture it. And then Muhammad Ali, um, Will Smith put on the weight and, you know, I mean, he, he did a pretty good job. Some people don't like that movie. I, I didn't have a real big problem with, with the Muhammad Ali movie. I mean, it could have been better, but I mean, I don't know. I'm just a movie head, movie buff, and I love boxing too. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just impartial. I don't critique it as hard, but Jamie Foxx, I'm just really trying to embrace it. Because if you watch the old HBO Tyson, I think it was just called Tyson, with Michael Ja White. Michael Ja White is big. He might even be bigger than Tyson, especially nowadays. Uh, he's big and he really knows martial arts and stuff like that. So he already knows how to throw punches and stuff like that. And again, he, he's from Brooklyn. I think He's from New York. I'm pretty sure Michael Ja White is from Brooklyn. Tyson's from Brooklyn, Brownsville, Catskill. So that correlation was a little bit more feasible like and i actually like that movie i like that version i actually have that on my computer right now i might even watch it tonight so jamie fox i don't know like i just don't i don't know how and he's later in life for jamie fox too it's not like he, he's young so i don't know if he could put on the size to to look like tyson like i said the voice impression is good i could do a tyson impression though you know what i mean so let me know what you guys think of Mike Tyson being played in a Martin Scorsese. But on the on one hand, as much as I just shitted on Jamie Foxx basically for playing the role, and he said this on a like a talk show that he wanted to do this role, and I thought he was joking at first, but I guess he's serious. Now, the only thing I will say is this. Martin Scorsese is a hell of a director. The Departed, one of my favorites. Um, Goodfellas, one of my favorites. Casino one of my favorites he has awesome movies and i love that genre like gangster flicks so i don't know maybe he could pull it off and we'll have to see so it's good that boxing is is back i really feel that they're doing peter quillen starring as uh roger mayweather in a vinnie pazienza movie so it, it things are getting good for boxing people are generally i mean if, if hollywood's making movies about boxing that means the interest is coming back and people are starting to focus. So, like I said, I, I like all of this. I think boxing is just getting bigger. Um, it was dormant for a little while besides the hardcore fans and stuff like that. So, it's coming 
back into the, the main spotlight, limelight picture for Americans, at least, and hopefully worldwide. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Jamie Foxx as Mike Tyson. Can you picture it? Are they going to mess up Mike Tyson's story? Like I said, Mike Tyson is my favorite, so I'm real critical of what happens. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.